right, what's up, what's up? Hopefully this is live and letting me stream. Sorry guys, let me know. I made the delay a little bit later. We got Hydra on the Zerg. And looks like Hydra is doing a pretty good job. He's on the Zerg. Um, I was casting the other part of the game, or I mean the beginning of this game, but for some reason it wasn't live casting. Hydra's doing a nice job. Could maybe go for a drop. Arbiters are in, which is going to be huge. Uh, Hydra's doing a nice job with his uh, Defiler. And hopefully I am live. I did a two minute delay. I think that'll be okay. Got a dropity drop. And Hydra's starting to push through. And I think this might be a drop right here. So, I just got 10k and 2500. Should be almost two minutes, so. Please be live casting. Please be live casting. Storm. And gonna storm the gas, but not gonna get the mineral patch. So, lost maybe about 10 or so drones. Please be live casting. Please be live casting. Gonna lose that arbiter, it looks like. But Hydra is basically maxed out. He's been maxed out basically for a while now. Uh, I think he just needs to get maybe two more hatcheries. And he'll be in a really good position. Here's a drop, it looks like. And a lot of guardians right here. And this is gonna do some work. 3 3 upgrades. Here comes a drop right here, I think. This should be live. Here comes a drop and he drop McDrops. Please just say yes. Going to... Yes. Yeah, I am live. Yes. Alright, so Zerg versus... Okay, I am live right now. We got Zerg versus Protoss. And it looks like Hydra is actually... Winning right now. This game was really freaking good. My live cast is not working. And um, this actually looks like Hydra's going to start winning if he doesn't get dropped. He's got a lot of money. He's got a lot of gas. And uh, just a recap. Jose went for a mid build. And he was really pushing really hard on Hydra. And Hydra did a good job surviving. So let's see what gonna build a little expo over here title trip me out and nice job making the lurkers under a swarm noise what's up Newport and we got a big attack and I probably spread these guys nicely got the lurkers right here I don't see a drop coming anywhere and gonna start controlling the map so this is looking really heavily in favor of Hydra I think just to recap na 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 let's go but just to recap I think it's a drop right here I don't want to miss it um, this really won't hurt Hydra too much though. Maybe his production will get hurt a little bit. If he does lose a lot, gonna have to pull the, the drone skis. Not pulling them just yet and not even really gonna get a drop off. So I think this one's gonna go to Hydra right now. So, um, this game was really, really good. Nice storm right there from Jose. Jose played this one really nicely as well. Kept putting the pressure on Hydra. Hydra kept surviving, and then he used the swarms really nicely. Kept his gas, didn't get dropped really at all. And, um, yeah, I think this is going to be the GG. So, I think this score is going to be 1-1. One to one. I think Jose won the first one. Hydra's going to win the second one, 35-minute game. ZVP. And Jose did play really good on this one, though. And I do think that... And Hydra played really good. Uh, there was some... It was kind of a mid-build. And there's the GG McGee. So nice, noise stuff right there. Please don't freeze. And there's your score. So, ah, uh, gonna get at least, hopefully, if they keep playing, I'll get the the next games. So, 
sick, 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 sick. Na 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 na. Mm -mm. Um, sorry, Stone. I'm live casting. I know. I don't know who you are, Stone, but you're the man. Even though I don't know who you are. But. Uh. Yeah. I'm casting it. Um, so we got random versus random. I think the score is one to one. Didn't see the first game, and sorry guys, the it was not working well, and for some reason didn't the delay was I don't know the delay was just not working. So I think I'm delayed a little bit, and we got Jose gonna be in a bottom middle Zerg position, guys. If you like the content, give it a like, give it a subscribe. If you guys aren't subscribed already, appreciate it. And uh, we got Hydra on the Terran, so he's going to be really close. We'll see if he goes to the mech build. He's in a corner spot, so generally he does go for the mech build. Um, and Jose's going to go scout the middle, see if there is some type of mid build. Usually Hydra, Hydra doesn't go with a mid build. Um, so we'll see. And I can probably check. Here comes the drone ski. Uh, I respect Jose as a player. He's a really good player. I think he's second best on SCW. I think he's better than Dingo. And um, I think Hydra is is number one. But I do respect Jose and Dingo, especially for playing the Koreans a ton. Uh, give them some props. They played the Koreans a ton. So... And took some games off of him. I think Jose beat Buell a couple times. He played a long ZBT. I actually want to cast that game. Maybe I'll cast that one in the future. And then um, Dingo beat Gensei. PV, Protoss vs. Uh, Terran and Protoss vs. Zerg multiple times. So both of them got really good uh, Protosses. And they're both really good players. Hydra's a really good player. And uh, yeah, and scan dropped out, so this is basically to go to the finals right here. Scan had too many other things going on. ASL qualifying, he's doing StarCraft cast TV or something like that. Gonna scout the middle, not gonna see a mid build, and then Hydra's probably gonna think he's up against a Zerg. So, not gonna see any Overlord here, not gonna see any Overlord over here. And Jose going to get the colony on the right side. Would have been better if I was on the left side, but obviously he's not. Ooh, and he pulled this away, so he did see this. I don't think Hydra saw the Overlord right here. So Hydra went with a triple barracks. Going to probably scout right away. I think he was a little worried of a mid build, but clearly there's not. Going to see these Zerglings right here, and now he's going to know. Going to try to run these Zerglings through. Get some information, Jose is, and there's going to be three. Marines and ooh, that guy got stopped. So good job there by Hydra. So we'll see if he goes right into a factory. He's got the gas for it. Might go in for a double factory. Might even just build an engineering bay right here. Get some information. This is going to be tough for Jose. Uh, very close spot. Hydra is going to be able to not even have to put his factories out here. Just can put them inside his base. We'll see how uh, Hydra plays this one. So. Got the double factory. And probably just going to go with an all-out push. And still needs to scout. And going to scout and see. Save that marine. Nice job there by Hydra. And this guy's going to come back. He'll probably... He might use this guy. I think after he realizes this guy's scouting and he shouldn't be. Uh, he might use this guy to make an engineering bay. So we'll see. Gonna, actually going to lift this over. And go with the double barracks. Get that information. Let's we'll see what Jose's up to. He's going for a super quick lair. And we'll see if he goes into maybe... I'm, I'm going to guess he's going to go into Lurkers. Putting this out here. Hydra not going to put his Marines right here. So going to be a little bit safe. Here's a Starport. So I like Hydra's build. And this is really, really tough to spot. So, uh, stop. So, we will see if... 
Jose can stop this. He's got three macro hatchers. He's going with the Hydro Den, so he's going to go with Lurkers. And I think Hydra's going to see that and then go right into a vessel. And maybe a Spire will get made from Jose and get a couple Scourges to try to snipe out the uh, the vessel. That'll buy him a little bit more time. I see Buell do that a lot. So, what's up, everybody? Uh, what was it? Uh, 2 2 Go Sue Killer, what's up? La Predator, Newport, what's up? What's up? JR Roy, what's up? Momo. So, I'm going to give you guys a shout out. Thanks for watching my live Kessie Kessie cast. And I am down to cast all of these games, even if they're long. So, I got the tank right here. Let's see if Siege is on the way, but it's not done. I can't see how close it is in this observer mode, but. Uh, it should be done in about 10 seconds or so. It is done now. So he's going to siege this up. ASAP Rocky. ASAP Ferg. Work, work, work. And pulled. Okay, smart move there. So Hydra lifted over. Uh, I'll talk about it as this gets pushed. He lifted over his barracks, got the information, and then brought it back so he could start making Marines out of it. So smart move there by Hydra. Those are the things that Hydra does. Those little smart things like that. And gonna have five. Is this? Yeah, five. No, that's a chamber. So four macro hatcheries. There's the hive. So Jose's playing this one really solid. Here's your two tanks, pushing and pushing and pushing. And that vessel should be on the way once he gets 225 gas. Gonna get a command center and pushing as much as he can. Let's see if there's any hydras. I don't see any hydras, so no lurkers at the moment. There's a spire. Vessel on the way. Two more tanks. Got the uh, medics right there. And shout out to Zero Toxicity for getting this uh, finally uh, set up. So these guys were it's taking them a while. And then I think whoever wins this, we're going to see some games real quick. We'll get to see uh, Buell and Rabbit play. So maybe if Zero Toxicity can schedule those games and then I'll live cast those. And really pushing quick here. So Hydra doing a nice job. Here's your Mutas. So you're going to probably use those Mutas and try to attack. Take out maybe a tank or two. Greater Spire on the way. Going to use these guys and go right after the SCVs. A couple Marines just spawned. He's going to lose some of his SCVs. He's at 86. So there goes one or two. Going to try to take out. Going to take out that SCV right there. So good job there. Hydra might just go for the all-out attack here. It's a lot of sunken, so Jose, his ZVT is really, really good. Needs to stim these guys up. Try to take out these mutas if he can. Maybe get a medic. Didn't build a... He didn't build a turret over here. And here comes the attack. Got the vessel right here. We'll see if these are all mutas. Jose's got a lot of gas, so these are actually lings. So this is not looking good for Jose. But he's... He did some damage to Hydra. Hydra just can't really lose many of his tanks. These guys are a little bit out of, these Marines are a little bit out of position. Gonna unseize these, doesn't wanna get that splash damage. And only gonna lose one tank. So good job there, that command center's done. Another, a starport's on the way. We'll see how a vessel gets made pretty soon. Getting these guys a little bit closer. The Guardians are on the way, so it's gonna be huge. And we'll see if vessels are gonna, gonna have to get those vessels. And the Guardians are done at eight minutes in, so Jose, you beast! I'd have to unsiege these guys and pull all of these guys back, I think. And gonna have to just get a lot of star ports. Ooh, these guys are going down. Let's see if there's an upgrade on these guys. No upgrade. The Marine. Ooh, nice. And on the drones, and gonna take out at least, it looked like four or five. So Jose is in trouble but these guardians are really doing a nice job gonna move these guys to the right side and not gonna get a shot off nice attempt these marines are feasting though gonna have to micro this guy back and now hydra's gonna start building up his base maybe get a valkyrie or two unseize these guys we'll see if a uh, scourge comes down if he gets a couple scourges scourges so let's see what's up here. A lot of medics, some marines. 
Here's a Wraith on the way, getting an Armory, gonna pull these two guys, and a little micro action from Jose. For being in this position, Jose is doing a really, really good job. That push was extremely fast. I don't think he's gonna be able to win this one, but he did a really nice job. Here's a Creep County, but that's just gonna be bad timing. Here comes another Vessel, gonna go right after the drones. I don't know if he's got Burrow. Using these guardians over here, and nice job there. Taking out a lot of the drones. He doesn't have burrow, and here's your wraith. I think that's gonna be the GG McGee. And another irradiate. I used to say irritate, and someone corrected me. So, yeah, I think this one is gonna go to Hydra. But these guardians were at eight minutes, and he had a lot of macro hatcheries. Couple scourges here, but supply 17. Excuse me. Man, cast live casty casting is sick. Let me know if the volume's too loud. Let me see if I can check the comments. Concurrent viewers. So let's back that up. So Hydra's only at 94 supply, but Jose lost all of his drone skis. So I think this is this attack's gonna be the GG. No upgrade yet. No upgrade yet. Using these guardians to try to take out the Yeah, there's the GG. So really, really well played by Jose. Uh really well played. That's a really tough position. Really tough, tough position right there. So I think the score is two to one. Two to one. And don't know what the first matchup was. And let's get right into the next one. Ba, ba, ba. Shout out to Francis and Ganu. Let's go. Hopefully he wins. I think this group was the toughest group. Um, Jose, Hydra, and then if Scan was playing... This would have been the, the toughest group for sure. Random, random. Two to one. Best of seven. So, next player. Hydra has to win three more. And another TVZ. My favorite matchup. Unfortunately, Jose's getting screwed with his spot. But he is pretty far in his uh, from Hydra. So, I do think he has a chance. If Jose can beat a ZVT against... Yule, he can beat a ZVT against Hydra. So, I give him a chance. It's uh, maybe a 20% chance, maybe. We'll see how Hydra plays this one. Maybe he'll go into a mech build. Switch it up. Go for the three barracks last game. And, let's see. Check it out the channel real quick make sure this is all good to go does this is it called super sick is that what this is casting is oh i see okay i see the delay right there so uh maybe i can edit it hydra vs jose scw 28 tournament Let's go. Save that. All right, I think I changed the name of it. Let me ask. There's your triple barracks and really the same thing. So we'll see how this one gets played out. But thing is, um, last game Hydra was able to lift a barracks and then get a nice little information, bring his barracks over, continue to produce. And uh, he's going to be in a corner far spot. So this is almost the second best spot to be in. Maybe third. I think this spot's really good. And then obviously this is the best spot if you want a ZVT. Because it's the longest distance and you have a corner. Middle spot you can get uh, irradiated here. And on this side. Or right here. So going with a double. Uh, macro hatchery 
Gonna go with that creep colony, so not worried about any type of rush, really, which Hydra doesn't really go with a mid build, but I think if Hydra does win this one and he's Protoss or even if he's Terran or something like that next game, he might do, do something that's a little cheesy, so we'll see. Send out the Zerglings and gonna go the wrong way here. Overlord might get spotted out, but I think he'll be okay. Hydra's gonna see it. And nice little micro. Hopefully he does not lose his Overlord here. Nice job pulling the Zergling here. Buying himself the time. Getting the kill and then obviously buying the time for his Overlord. So very, very good job there by Jose. I really think that Jose's early game is really, really strong. Sometimes his later game gets a little bit... Um, his macro isn't as good, but his early game is really good. So... Got these guys coming over here. Gonna see the. He sees the creep right there. So, gonna send these guys. And here's a Zergling. Gonna try to sneak in here. Maybe get some information, but not able to. Here's your Overlord. And we'll see if Hydra. Maybe he just goes for a triple. He's got a lot of gas. So, he's got an Academy. His Academy's a little bit late here. Let's go back to the double vision. And there's a quick lair. And. Looks like Hydra might try to just go around this side, but this is going to be walled off. So, here is his factory. And I do think that Jose's got a good chance in this one. Double. Ooh, he's going to go with the double academy. We saw Buell do this. So, going to take a little lesson from... Ooh, nice job here by Jose. Going to get some information with this guy. This guy got shot a little bit. 14, 15 life. But there are some Rhinies right here. And they're going to be... Nice little micro there. See, that's what I'm saying. He's got that micro action like that. So... Double Academy, going to make three medics, I'm sure. Maybe even go at six. He's got the factory. And going to try to bulldoze through the front and end it early. Looking for some other Marines or an Overlord. And these Zerglings are... The Zergling is going to, oh, unfortunately, go the wrong way. Here's your three medics. We'll see if he makes another three medics. Here's his command center. So I am liking the strategy and... Jose's going to go with super, super fast Guardians, building two more Creep Colonies, six, and this is going to be tough, so Hydra's going to have range, and he's going to have Stim, going with the triple as well, and probably going to build a Starport right now, looks like it, you sure he builds those Starports over there, here's your five, five Medics, Let's see if this guy builds a Starport, as the upgrades are done, so here's the attack. And look at all these sunkins. I don't think he's going to be able to bust through this. But we'll see. Stimmed up. And I'm guessing Jose heard that. Going to spread these guys a little bit. Get these guys all repaired. Run in with the medics first. Here comes your attack. They got the range. Going to target fire this one. Wants to target fire that one. This is a lot of sunkins. And going to put that chamber there really nicely. So... I don't think this is going to work out for... Nice nice job there by Jose. So, not going to work out for Hydra. And Jose's got a lot of macro hatcheries. Five plus another one. And he's got... Wow. I am impressed with Jose's Zerg right now. I don't know how he is doing this. I think that this guy got trapped. This is one thing. Nice job lifting that up. Jose always does that. I know this is Hydra, but... So now we'll see what... There's your starport. Going to probably go right into the science facility. Scorgies. Might use these Scorgies to get some information. Send them over here. Send them over here. Fly them around. Here comes... We'll see a scan probably come down from Hydra. So let's see if he scans. Probably going to scan the main to see if he's up against Guardians. But this is going to be extremely fast Guardians. And he's going to have a ton of macro hatcheries. Here is one Scorgy. Another Scorgy over here. Getting that Scouty Scout off. Hell yeah. This is some fun, fun stuff. These guys are really, really solid, great players. And I am glad I can do this live. So, here is your vessel. Let's see if this is an armory. And engineering bay. That did get a Scout off. I kind of missed it. He's going to send this guy over here too as well. Let's see what Jose's vision is. So Jose's got the little vision right here. And he's got the vision on the sides. So he's got pretty decent vision. And he's got two two sunks back there too as well. So And two more macro hatcheries. 
Gonna build the spore colonies here. Here's the push from Hydra. And we'll see if we'll see what the gas is. Jose's got gonna have five extractors. He's got this one. This thing sh or this crit this thing, this great air spire should be close to being done. I'd say about 10 seconds. Defiler mount. Oh my goodness. Jose, you are playing this one crazy good. Someone needs to memorize this build order because this is actually a really strong build for sure. Usually you don't see. Here comes the drop ship, but he does have some sunkins here. Scan coming down. Going to drop right here. Let's see if there's some fire bats in here. Just some marines. Going to use the scorgies. Take out. Oh, this might hurt. This is. Oh, wait, they got the guardians already, though. And that's going to be about 8 minutes and 30 seconds. Going to lose some of this. Going to maybe pull these guys to the right side. Lost his left side of gas, but should be a-okay. This guy shouldn't be able to do too much. Going to try to take out the main, though. And going to have to use some of these. But he's not going to lose his main. He's got the guardians. And Hydra's going to be shocked at how fast those guardians are. 8 minutes and 20 seconds. So, But did some damage to the main. So maybe we'll see a big tank drop come from Hydra. Hydra's going to probably go with Valkyries. Get a vessel as well. And I think Hydra's just going to go maybe more for a turtle. I might pull these guys back. So I think why? No, actually, yeah. Going to see those guardians. So really, really nice job there by Jose. So here's your two armories. Going to have to get, I think he's probably getting uh, Goliath range, which always helps a lot. Getting this upgrade right here always helps a lot with the guardians. So here's that vessel sneaking in here. Hopefully... Jose's got burrow. There's your. Oh, these guys are out of place. And he's at 71 supply. Gonna burrow. Beautiful job there. So, Jose is really, really playing this one like a boss. Gonna bring some of his Marines over here. Make sure this vessel doesn't get killed. Little micro. Almost gonna get it, but nice attempt there. Gonna try to maybe take out this Overlord. And Jose's got speed on his Overlords as well. So, really, really playing this one. Didn't lose his front hatchery. Really playing this one like a boss daddy. There's your third extra command center. And now I would give Jose a 30% chance to win this one. So he's got these Scorgies over here. A couple Hydras. Probably going to get a couple Lurkers. His guess is decent as well. So, And here is a scan coming down. And look at these Spore Colonies. So can't really do anything. We'll see if he waits maybe for some couple more vessels we'll see and three chambers so gonna be getting his upgrades as well let's see if he's got carapace probably getting a carapace upgrade getting more of his gas 800 of that hive got injured there so hydra gonna he's got a lot of money in the bank gonna build some turrets so smart move there by hydra gonna try to contain the zerg he's got a drop ship right here to get some vision, I think that's the purpose for that. Should be able to take out this front. Here's a couple guardians. Don't want to miss any irradiates or anything like that. Able to take out that pretty easily. This guy might get shot at a couple times. And he's actually in hold position, so he is going to go down. And that's going to bring Jose to 130 max supply. But Jose's probably going to build a few more hatcheries. And he's going to be in a pretty good position. I think what Hydra's going to do is try to go right after the minerals. As I see him bring these vessels over here. Put the defensive matrix on there and just hover them. Usually he does it with Valkyries though. Uh, maybe these are Valkyries right here. Looks like he's going to build maybe another starport. Have about seven starports it looks like. But this is really giving a lot of time to Jose. The one thing about... Oh, nice job bringing the Guardians over here. Going to micro that guy out. And kind of try to use the Scourges right there. Let me know who you guys think is going to win this one. The Defilers are there. And we'll see how good Jose's long ZVT is. Here's the Irradiate on the Minerals. Going to get the left side, right side. Going to burrow. And it's not going to be the right 12. So he did lose a lot of his drones there. But that is going to be okay. Because he's got a pretty big base and a bunch of drones just spawned. So he'll probably make another 24 or something like that. So this is what sucks about being in this position. Overlord, here's your Valkyries. I think he's going to use those to help out and really go after the minerals. But 
Sucks about being in this position because it's really easy to just continue to harass and abuse. So, and we'll see if a drop comes from Jose. That would be a game ender with an ultralist drop and a defiler drop. So, going to start pushing up the front. A couple Valkyries up here. And got the Valkyries over here. Here's a vessel. I'm guessing the vessels are just going to continue to come. Taking out the Scourges and an Overlord. Not an Overlord, a Guardian. And this guy might go down as well. And smart move, making the turrets on the side. So here's your, this is what I think might happen. This is going to be huge, beautiful, this is going to be epic. Putting the Defilers in there, this could be a game ender. Jose, you little beast. Really playing this one strong. So we'll watch this. This may get spotted out. It probably will get spotted out by this turret. And I'm guessing... Ooh, if he went this way, it would have went a little bit better. He's going to go right over the turret. And going to drop and actually just go for the attack from the back. It looks like while this push is happening. So, we'll see if that's what he does. And Hydra's sending over his tanks. But this is going to probably run these guys into Hydra's base. I like it. And this is, turret's going to go down. Really, really good move. These guys are sieged up. Four tanks. And these guys are probably going to go down pretty quickly. Or go right after the main. Let's see if he's got any upgrades. One upgrade on his attack. And this is going to buy a little time for... Ooh, it wasn't as effective as I thought. And I don't see a... Um, yeah, I wasn't able to go for a... Um... A swarm or anything, so really wasn't able to get the minerals. A little zergling in here, getting four kills. As I like to call these things, little dingoes. A little dingo in there, getting four kills over there. So looks like we got a nice big attack. Got the swarm, so this is going to be actually pretty tough. Here's the irradiate on the minerals, and he's at 182 supply. We'll see how low this drops, and going to lose. 50 of his drones, so that's going to be huge, so depending on if this, I think if Hydra can stop this attack, he should be okay, but this is a big, big attack, a lot of units coming in here, and we're going to have to swarm up ASAP Ferg, see if the upgrade, 1-1 one, one upgrades, and let's see if that swarm, this could be a game ender, that drop was huge, another bunch of Valkyries coming in here but let's watch this gonna seize these guys up and we got some lag action coming so ooh this is Jose might be dropping on this one what I think as those siege tanks spawned I think that would have say that's gonna save Hydra here and Jose doesn't have any minerals, so I think Jose might just be dropping here. Maybe, who knows. But Jose really played this one good. Hopefully this is not a drop. I don't know what the rules are if you drop. Obviously I'm not going to hit drop. You guys are going to see me. I won't be hitting drop. I'll sit here all day. So don't know what the issue is. You guys see my cursor, it's right there. So, I didn't do anything. And, I don't know. I think that one would have went to Hydra. I think that one. You guys can decide in the comments what you guys think.
Yeah, so he dropped. And we will see what you guys say in the comments. And that might be the end of it. We'll see.